Good morning YouTube. This is Cruise Man here at a lake once again in Carrollton, Texas. And I'm just uh, heading out from my breakfast. Uh, I was alone today. Normally I uh, meet Don Smith up here for coffee or breakfast, but he was not able to make it this morning. So I was on my own, but I was able to get some work done. I brought my laptop with me, got a little work done. I don't have anything uh, really dramatic to talk to you about today other than just to update you and uh, let you know what's going on. I have uh, got some new video projects I want to update you on first of all got a guy over here with a, one of those leaf blowers oh yeah the soothing sounds of the leaf blower I'll tell you what I wish they would make them illegal no matter where I go it seems like I'm always hearing that sound of a leaf blower anyway Yesterday, I released my wiring strategy video. If you haven't seen it yet, go take a look and uh, please put your comments in the uh, comments area if, if you found it helpful. I uh, basically show you how I, uh, or the system I came up with to kind of clean up the wiring of all my added uh, aftermarket accessories. And uh, certainly not the uh, only way, the only technique you can use, or the only strategy, but it's just the way I did it. There may be better ways, there's other ways, a lot of people have different uh, philosophies and strategies. So, I'm anxious to hear your comments on that video. Also, I will be adding another new video in the next couple of days. Maybe by Sunday I should have it up and ready to go. Another uh, video for our 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series. And that will bring the series up to 70 videos. It's hard to believe that when I introduced the maintenance video series, uh, we had 33 videos. So some of you remember because you bought the videos back when we only had 33 videos in the series. And now we are approaching 70 videos, more than double. And of course, those of you that bought early, uh, you've gotten all those new videos and updates uh, free of charge. I've also updated several videos recently with new information, new graphics, new audio, or improved audio, I should say. So if you have the video series, um, check out those new versions. And if you have chosen to download the videos for viewing offline, uh, you may want to go in and download the new version so you have the most recent information. Also, I'll just make a little note to those of you that do have my maintenance videos. If you've had any trouble finding your videos, I know I get emails every now and then. Somebody says, I can't find my videos. I try to log into Vimeo. They've got the wrong email address or, or they can't log in and get to the videos they've purchased. I have a help page on my website to go through the steps to show you how you can find your videos just in case you can't find them. And generally, I'd say in 95% of the cases, it's because uh, when you set up your Vimeo account, you used a different email address than the one you're trying to log in with now. That's probably 95% of the times that's what's happened. So anyway, go in and check out that help page if you need help with that. Now, let me tell you what's coming up. Let me tell you what's on the horizon. I've got a bunch of new products that I'm going to be reviewing that you should see over the next couple of weeks. I'd say two to three weeks. 
I know I talked about this in an early motor vlog, but I've got one of the, you know, that uh, that little trunk extender that's supposed to raise your trunk up one or two inches or one and a half inches. Well, that company reached out to me and sent me one to review. So I'm going to try to get that installed in the next couple of weeks and I will do a thorough review of that little trunk extender for you so you can uh, uh, kind of get my thoughts on it. And I've also got some new really cool looking lights for the front of the bike. I don't want to spoil the surprise but those should be in any day now and I will be reviewing those and uh, showing you how uh, I get them installed and everything and I, I'm telling you I, I think you're gonna really be excited about this product because it, it, if it's as good as it looks in the information I've seen I think it's going to be a really cool uh, addition to your bike I've got so many lights on this bike now you know I don't I really wondered if I needed any more lighting you know because I'm not one to just throw on a bunch of LEDs just for the sake of uh, making it look cool it has to have some function it has to have some purpose I have installed and am in the middle of testing a new, I guess you could call it a security device for the uh, for the gold ring or really for any motorcycle. And I'm just waiting on an update for their new uh, app that goes with it. And once I get that update, I will be uh, posting a video review of that product as well. So a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Now today I'm looking at my temperature gauge and it's 58 degrees. It's uh, I actually actually have my liner in my jacket today just because it was a little cold when I left the house. It was 55 degrees, and I actually stopped just a few blocks from the house and got my liner out of the saddlebag and put the liner on just because it was that cool. And it really. Uh, it really does make a difference uh, to keep you a little warmer is put on that jacket liner. I've got my heated seat and my heated grips working this morning. So I guess that tells me that the season is definitely changing. And I know that some of you have mentioned that you've already, uh, you're already starting to store your bike for the winter. So <laughs> I guess uh, it's that time of year. You know, we're coming on to winter pretty quick and somebody actually posted a question on Facebook on one of our Facebook groups the other day uh, and for those of you that haven't checked it out yet we've got two Facebook groups maintenance related groups one for the 2018 Goldwing and one for previous generations so check those out but anyway somebody posted a question on the Facebook group and he said he's getting ready to store his bike for the winter is it better to change the oil now and store the bike with fresh oil and a clean filter or is it better to wait until spring when he's ready to start riding again and then change the oil and filter and of course you can imagine everybody has a different opinion on that so I'll give you my opinion on that I would not want my bike to sit for two months or three months with dirty contaminated oil that's just me so my philosophy would be to go ahead and change the oil now before you store the bike and after you've changed the oil and filter go ahead and ride the bike you know bring the bike up to temperature get that oil moving through the engine so that you've got clean oil throughout the system and then store the bike if you're only storing the bike for three or four months, five months even, that oil is going to be fine when riding season starts again. But for me personally, I would rather store the bike with fresh, clean oil, and then you're ready to ride in the springtime. Now, we don't usually have to store our bikes here in Texas. I can ride almost year-round. 
Uh, there are days, or I, there's times where I may go three or four weeks where I can't ride the bike, but it's pretty unusual. Usually, I'd say it's unlikely that I'll go more than a week or two where I can't ride the bike. It usually gets up in the 40s, uh, even in the worst part of the winter here, and I can still get out and ride. So we don't really store motorcycles here like you do in other parts of the country, or I don't. Now, some people probably do. But if it's over 40 degrees, I'm perfectly comfortable riding the bike as long as I have some warm gear on. But tell me in the comments down below, what do you do to store your bike? That you know, If it were me and I were storing a bike long term, I would probably go ahead and change out the brake fluids. I would, I would just change all the fluids. I might even do the radiator. Uh, I tend to do mine every year anyway, just because it's easier for me to remember to do it. It's kind of have a schedule. I tend to change all my fluids at least once a year anyway. And of course the oil and filter uh, every 3,500 to 4,000 miles. So if you store your bike for the winter, put it in the comments down below. Tell me what you do. What's your procedure for that? So that's about it for me today. I didn't, like I said, I didn't have a huge uh, earth-shattering news to share with you, but uh, I appreciate you joining me. Thanks for all those of you who have subscribed to the channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Always much appreciated. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.